Hello, today I will be playing Amazon Ascension. I have been playing this game for a bit if you couldn't tell, however I am going to start a new Ascension tier, solely because I think this game is quite fun. And believe it or not, the game actually uses mesh deformation, which I uh, discovered when I was playing as the boa constrictor. I forgot it can do that. No, get down. Anyways, ascending through the first couple of tiers are pretty easy if you're not blind like I am. And uh, it's usually pretty easy to breeze right through. Just need to find a monkey orchid and or water, preferably both. Oh hey, there's someone in here. Hello. Anyways, here's a monkey orchid. Now to find and eat a nut. Those are pretty common. You can either climb up into the trees and find them. However, it's usually easier to just nab them off the ground. Same with fruit, unless you're playing as a bird, in which case... Die. <laughs> Good luck, you're, you're gonna die. However, I quite enjoy the bird gameplay, as per usual, because as you all humans know, anything with wings is in fact better than you. It walks so funny. You humans are very good at making me smile, if I could smile. Not revealing whether or not I have a mouth. If I reveal that, that would ruin the surprise. Anyways, the current mission is to just run a very long time and to drink water, and I will get back to y'all once I am at tier 2. And I have in fact found a portal that's open. I already went through it once, but they just teleport you across the map, essentially, like currently. We are right here. Then if I run through it again in seven seconds... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bird. Yeah, that, that was most definitely a bird. Anyways, while I'm showing this off, the reason that my voice hasn't been like this in the past few videos is because at work I do have to use a more higher pitched voice in order to please customers so they don't yell at me. So my voice is not quite used to this. Anyways, now we're over here. However, I do still prefer using this type of voice for this character, it's just a matter of re-accustomizing to it every so often, and I have been forgetting to do that, so my voice has been a bit higher pitched in videos. And now I could just, um, gonna rest for a minute, not talk as much in videos, or I could, um, just do voice practices before that, but I don't want to do that. Anyways, I'm gonna play as this one. Plonk. Tasks are essentially the same, just gotta find a nut and a white orchid. By the way, these cliffs are crucial for when you're playing as a bird. Anyways, I'll get back if anything interesting happens, or if I find another... Oh. Yum yum yum. Alrighty, I have now amassed enough points to ascend to the next tier, which should be the Macaw. Unfortunately, I have not gotten any skins for this creature. This winged beast. However... Something I do quite like about it is, um, how it eats mid-air. Um, well, it doesn't quite eat mid-air, but once I find a suitable tree, I'll be able to show you. It's very cool, if you ask me. Oh, missed the tree. You slow down and should latch onto the tree. 
similar to one of the monkeys. And here is where I show you what I meant by the uh, cliffs are actually vital for the macaws playstyle. And for those on PC, you press space to maintain altitude, E to slow down, and Q to take flight. Oh dear. Anyways, I amassed the more than enough, honestly, points is the Agouti, which I skipped because the gameplay is just run around ad infinitum. And the gameplay is this is significantly more fun since, well, you're a bird. I don't, I don't know how you can get better than that. Anyways. You do need to slow down in order to land, or else you're going to have a very unfun time. And as for trees with berries, it's trees like this one, but this one does, this one does have some. I just totally sucked at that though, so I'm going to go ahead and retry it. So again, just slow down, and there you, what the... Just gonna go with this tree. Yum yum. Anyways, getting some water shouldn't be too difficult. And once again, I will be getting back to you once anything interesting happens. I am a strutting. I am strutting. I am strutting. Anyways, we can now ascend to tier 5, and I'm going to choose Spoonbill because it's more fun. Anyways, I have unlocked the juvenile skin, I just need to unlock the um, vibrant for this one and I'll be done. And this one, I honestly quite like playing as it, as it's actually one of the starter creatures, but despite that, it's also unlocked via ascension, but honestly, who cares? It looks awesome. Anyways, in order to feed, you want to get down to water. Nice and slow. Oh, this water was higher up than I thought. Anyways, then you press F. F. It is a bit difficult. A lot difficult, however it is very fun. I am personally a large fan of mini games like this. The more difficult the better. One of the large reasons why I enjoy games that are just stupid difficult. And you press X again to... Well... Stop eating. Alrighty. I'm just gonna do it this next time. Then just fly around for a bit. Do the quests. And if you couldn't tell when I was going through my save slots, I do not have the ki black Kaiman unlocked. However, I do have the bow constrictor unlocked. So we will unfortunately have to go through that tree again, but it's honestly pretty fun to play as those animals, so I don't mind. Also something I find very pertinent to share about this thing is that you can have its leg raised, down, raised, down, raised. I think it's very cool. Alright, I should have enough points to upgrade to the dwarf caiman. Doesn't look like I have any of its skins. And it looks like for the next one I will need 170. Then I believe that one was 400. Anyways, you dive by pressing E. These things are very difficult to actually get with my little fang teeth. 
water beast. Just get the, get the, get it, get it, get it, get it. I wasn't kidding when I said it was difficult. Anyways. This one gives pretty decent, um, I need to find the right foliage, but it gives very decent, um, rewards for all those things that you might do. And it doesn't count either. Anyways, the underwater sections of the map are very pretty if you ask me. And I will get back when it's time to upgrade to the next thing. Alright, now it appears it should be about time to get to this thing. Once again, I only have the default for it, unfortunately. However, hello! You can't have that! It's not good for you! And, yep, the Black Kaiman does cost 400 pips. I like how this thing runs. Anyways, I'll get back to you if anything interesting happens, or when it's time to ascend. Alright, so finally with the last quest of eating a fruit, I have gotten to 400. Now I can play as this beast. There's several of them. There's several defaults. I'm playing as the mossy one. <laughs> and that is going to be the end of this ascension. Yeah, no, that, that's the end. This is the final result. Let me just look at what it can do. Can it eat fruit? It cannot eat fruit. It can go chump. It can go sleep. It walks. It runs. And of course, it swims. And it swims slightly faster. Let me turn on sense. Whatever's that red thing, I want it dead. Oh, feast. Oh, they're still just as hard to catch. Like, if anyone has tips for catching these things, please share, because I am not having a good time. In fact, I outright give up. However, I am going to finish recording this, because I want that thing dead. Unless it's already a corpse. No, it's moving. It won't be moving for long. Is it another me? I want it dead either way. No, I don't want it dead. I'm just making friends. What is it? I want to- I want to be besties with it. What the hell is- what in the world is it? I can't tell based on this outline. Oh yeah, it's already dead. Looks like it was either a jaguar or a mountain lion. Something like that. Yeah, jaguar. Unfortunate. This is the face of someone who would never do anything. Hehehehe. <laughs> 